Columbia University president and other leaders testified before Congress on Wednesday over the rise of anti-Semitism on campus since Hamas's October 7th massacre and the ensuing war in Gaza. During the four-hour hearing on anti-Semitism on the Ivy League school campus, House Committee members grilled President Neymat Minou Shafiq, along with members of Colombia's anti-Semitism task force on incendiary staff, lack of disciplinary measures for acts of Jew hatred. Specific instances were brought to the university officials' attention, in particular on the hiring of Mohamed Abdou as a visiting professor at Colombia's Middle East Institute after he had publicly posted his support for Hamas, Islamic Jihad and Hezbollah on October 11th. That's just four days after the attacks. Shafiq was also questioned on Colombia professor Joseph Massad, who called the October 7th Hamas-led massacre that quelled 1,200 people in southern Israel as, quote, awesome and astounding. The, the task force report also states uh, that anti-Semitism includes efforts to rationalize or endorse the murder of Jews or the destruction of the state of Israel. And I'd like to submit for the record an article written by Professor Joseph Massad uh, that rationalizes the murder of Jews and the destruction of the state of Israel. Why is that professor still teaching at Columbia? As I said, we have mechanisms in place where faculty cross the line. We have done, we have many cases, and when we have any complaints from students saying they feel uncomfortable, is he still there are teaching? disciplinary processes Is he still in place. teaching? Uh, he is still on the faculty. Is he still teaching? I'm not, I, I, I'm not, I don't want to misspeak. I'm not sure he's teaching okay. at the moment. All right, I want to turn back to my panel here in studio. Mark, you yourself are a, a Columbia a graduate. I, I want to get your take on, on that Senate hearing on anti-Semitism that we just uh, witnessed. It appears Shafiq, uh, President, Columbia President Shafiq, has uh, taken a little bit of notes from, from Harvard President Colleen Gay. But still, that professor that was celebrating Hamas's uh, attacks on Israel that killed 1,200 civilians is still on staff. She's still on staff. He's been on staff for a long time. Middle East Institute has been anti-Israel for at least the 1980s. I was back in the 1980s as a graduate student. I was there originally as an undergraduate in the 70s, and it wasn't anti-Israel. Um, but um, the reality is she did a little bit better in terms of the testimony. She was well prepared, but she couldn't change the reality on campus, which is very anti-Israel, very anti-Jewish at this point. And, uh, she was hemmed and hawed a little bit. She basically said that River to the Sea is uncomfortable and it's wrong, uh, but she was also defending free speech. So she did slightly better than the um, her predecessors, but she couldn't go straight out and, and she can't do what she needs to do. Yeah. Now, although one could argue that the, the hearing was a so-called uh, achievement in, in fighting anti-Semitism on campuses across the U.S., it didn't appear to make any difference on Columbia's campus because during the hearing itself, there was also pro-Palestinian protests taking place. Absolutely. They've not only taking place, they took over the Quad, which is the center part of Columbia. As a matter of fact, I got a WhatsApp. I'm part of a Columbia alumni group. And, uh, they were there in the middle of the night. A half an hour before the time that I got on, took on the air today, they were still occupying the Quad, the main part of the Columbia, chanting from the river to the sea, revolution, et cetera, et cetera. Jewish students at Columbia do not feel comfortable is the understatement. I've met with someone who was in the States recently, and they are not comfortable. Uh, they feel that almost 60% of the campus, anyone who considers themselves left, which is what you have to be these days, is anti-Israel and at some point anti-Jewish. Now, we did see some changes in attitude, though. Uh, the, just this week, you mentioned that, that pro-Palestinian uh, um, chant from the river to the sea was uh, uh, passed by the House as uh, condemning as anti-Semitic. So in a, in a way, we are seeing a sort of change in attitudes on the political level when it comes to, to the, those that are in charge. But on the streets, it's a completely different it's situation. It's completely different on the streets. It's completely different on the campus itself. The House of Representatives saying that's anti-Semitic has absolutely no impact on students on the campus screaming at, screaming at uh, Jewish students, no Zionists here, um, giving them the sense that there is no place for them on the Columbia campus. And it's widespread on the Columbia at this point, uh, which is very, very problematic. Jack, I want to get your take. Well, I just remember what Yitzhak Rabin used to tell me. He said, the, 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 ju the world will judge us by what we do and not by what, uh, what we say. And this is the most important thing. The, the, the world will judge us by what we do.